means uh, things like vitamin E, omega fats, especially omega-3 fats, f seed kinds of things, e your ultimate EFAs, minerals. This is another really important point about fats and fat absorption and, f and how the body deals with fats. Minerals, a lot of the minerals utilize the same absorption pathways, absorption chemistry, that the fats do. So anything that's, that you need for the fatty system of the body, or anytime you have a problem with the fatty system of the body, you want to think about selenium, you want to think about zinc, you want to think about magnesium, especially for the prostate. Now, the ProstFX is a great longevity product. There's also a really cool, and this is in the, there's a, it's not a, it's not a supplement, it's actually a steroid-like substance, a plant steroid, and it's called beta cytosterol. And this stuff is unbelievable for prostate issues. In fact, get on the ProstFX, and for most people, beta cytosterol, and then you can, might even want to get some extra beta, beta cytosterol. You can get that at, at a health food store. You'll notice results, if you get enough of that stuff, you'll notice results for the prostate within uh, a week or less. So you can get, it's called okay. beta cytosterol, it's in your ProstFX, and then if you want yeah. more, it's spelled B-E-T-A, that's beta cytosterol, S-I-T-O-S-T-E-R-O-L, and like 300 milligrams a night kind of thing, you can miss a day here and there. But you'll notice result, you'll not only notice results pretty quickly, but you'll notice when you stop taking your ProstFX or your beta cytosterol that you're, within a few days, you're going to the bathroom multiple times in the, in the middle of the night again. So does that help? All the fatty things, and also vitamin C, very important for the prostate. Vitamin C, in fact, the prostate has more vitamin C than a lot of parts of the body. I think the adrenals and the liver have more. But other than that, uh, the prostate contains lots of vitamin C, lots of vitamin C activity going on in the prostate. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much, Charlie. I appreciate the kind words too, buddy. Thank you. Thanks a lot, man. T take care, man. Bye-bye. All right, let's go to Tanya in California. Welcome to the Bright Side, Tanya. What's up? Hi, Hi welcome. I have some um, questions about baking soda. And okay. when's the best time to take it if you're going to be taking it at all with health uh, benefits? I yeah, you want to take it maybe an hour after meals kind of thing. If you're using it for digestion, or what are you using it for? Um, I kind of I want to attack um, fungus. And you want to attack fungus? What, do you want to have a war yeah. going on in there? You don't yeah, want a sir. war? No I attacking. Do. You have to be kind and loving at all times. You ask the fungus to leave by, by robbing, of it, robbing it of its food. That's how you deal with fungus. Sugar. What's that? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Sounds like you've done some research here. That's, ex that's exactly what fungus is about. Fungus is a metabolic issue. It's a chemistry issue. It has to do with a combination of digestive distress, and that's the probiotics, because good bacteria balance out those fung fungi, and then sugar. Those are the two major aspects going on. And, and there's, a, you know, there's a lot of misunderstanding about fungus. People think that somehow fungus sneak into your body and you know, like, a, like it's an infection of some kind. But really what it is, it's an overgrowth. There's fungus and bacteria that live in balance in the body. And under ordinary circumstances, that balance is kept. But in nature, everything is fighting each other and the fungus are trying to outdo the bacteria and the bacteria are trying to do the fungus. And when we eat the way we eat and we drink the way we drink, which means antibiotics basically and antibiotic rich foods, what ends up happening is we kill our bacteria, and that includes uh, uh, tap water too. Chlorine kills bacteria, and then there's a lot of reasons why the probiotics get messed up. But from there, it becomes easy for the fungus to overgrow. And then when you eat sugar, the fungus love the sugar, they really proliferate. And so the key is the sugar issue and then the digestive issue with probiotics. Now, sodium bicarb will help you with your digestive system. As it turns out, you know, we talk about acid all the time in the digestive tract. But as it turns out, when the food leaves the stomach, it gets a big bath of sodium bicarb. It gets bathed with sodium bicarb when it goes into the intestine, if, it's, if your pancreas is working correctly. So a lot of folks will take a little sodium bicarb an hour after, uh, hour after meals. You don't want to take it early. You don't want to take it with your meals because that will neutralize the acid in your stomach. That's not good. So you want to take it like an hour or so after meals. Is that what you're talking about is for, for your digestive system? You're talking about killing yeah. the fungus. Yeah, for your okay, digestive maybe. system, that would be how you do it. Now, there are people who do it for pain. There's a guy named Mark Circus. You might want to, I don't know if you read his stuff, S-I-R-C-U-S. He writes a lot about sodium bicarb. And he's, he has, he's got testimonials on there for cancer. You know, and he's talking about sodium bicarb 
we're getting into the blood. You know, sodium bicarb is alkaline. You, you, there's a whole thing about alkaline and acid that's really kind of a misunderstanding. And this is where you're, this is where you're, I think you, you're misunderstanding about attacking the fungus. We think that this alkaline acid thing is something that we have to manipulate. It's not. It's something that we have to, the body will take care of if it's not toxic. Acidity is a sign that the body is not clearing out poison. So yes, you can alkalinize with things like sodium bicarb and, and, and vegetables and such, but really, if you're toxic, you're gonna to be acidic and you, alkalinizing isn't gonna help. So you're not gonna take care of toxicity just by alkalinizing. The alkalinizing is something the body does when you take care of the toxicity. Does that make sense? You take care of the toxicity first and then the alkaline, alkal, alkaline acid balance takes care of itself. You know, we, we're so obsessed with the signs and the symbols and the trappings of our breakdowns that we forget that the breakdown is, is not the same as the marker, as the trapping. So what you want to do is you want to clean up your act. I, I don't mean this in a bad way. Clean up your act. You know what I'm saying, Tanya? That means food, food, and then patch up the digestive system. And then, uh, of course, probiotics and all the things we talked about earlier in the program. And then if you want to do sodium bicarb, you know, you'd half a teaspoonful in four ounces of water an hour after meals or maybe a few times in the middle of the day if you're, if you're looking to get some in your blood, that kind of thing. And then read Dr. Circus. He's got, he writes a lot about it if you're interested in, in learning more about uh, sodium bicarb. Okay? Okay. Also, um, FYI, there's a Dr. Tulio. Tulio? Spell, spell yeah. for me. The first name is T-U-L-L-I-O. Last okay. name is S-I-M-O-N. C-I-N-I. He's, he's a cancer guy, right? Yeah. I've he's heard of him. Guy. I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah, he's got some interesting thing about fungus. He's a fungus guy, too, isn't he? Yeah, that's what I'm getting some of my information from. Okay, yeah. yeah and I I, he made, does, does he talk about, uh, so he talks, I, I think you're right now, I, now that I, I remember, he talks about using bicarb for the fungus, right? Yeah. I remember reading his stuff, and, and I thought to myself, that's ex what, exactly what I just told you. The mm -hmm. fungus are not the cause of the cancer. They're a byproduct of the same dysfunction that causes the cancer. Does that make sense? Should, yeah, but you should check out his stuff because he actually treats... He's cured. It. He's done some curing th things, right? Yeah. With the, I remember... Yeah, I, check it out. I remember reading that. I remember reading that. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate that, Tanya. Thank you. Have a so, good day. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Tulio... Simoncini, Simoncini, that's his name. All right, thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, if you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. All right, hope you have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll continue talking hormone health and fats and the skin on our next Brightside episode. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.